There is no current news regarding Shanquilla Robinson. According to attorney Sue Ann Robinson, the case is still loading, so we are still awaiting justice. The case of Shanquilla Robinson and the missing woman in the Bahamas, Taylor Casey, are eerily similar in regards to the actions of the police in a foreign country. The authorities in Cabo San Lucas wanted to downplay the loss of life of Shanquilla Robinson because it would affect the tourist industry. The authorities in the Bahamas downplayed Taylor Casey's disappearance until the news crews arrived and started asking questions one week later. The family of Taylor Casey are asking for help in spreading awareness and sharing any information regarding the disappearance of Taylor Casey. Let's take a look. A woman who vanished while on a yoga retreat in the Bahamas, Taylor Casey's family is calling on the U.S. government to get involved after what her mother called a deeply unsettling visit to the island. Nobody was acting like this was their child that's missing. Taylor Casey's loved ones who just returned from the island calling on the FBI and U.S. State Department to intervene, saying they are not satisfied with answers from local authorities and ashram leaders so far. They didn't have any leads or any conclusions about what might have happened. And there were some real gaps in the information. If Americans are not safe abroad um, and our government is not doing anything about it, that's a problem. It is vitally important to work these cases the minute you know about a person being missing. 41-year-old was last seen in Nassau on June 20th at the Sivananda Ashram Yoga Retreat. Bahamian police saying they're using all resources at their disposal, telling ABC News it is a matter of priority. Taylor Casey, who was reported missing to our agency on Thursday, the 20th of June. We used our drone technology. We used our canine. We have used our divers. Last week, police recovered Taylor's phone in the ocean near the retreat and say that they're trying to access any information from it. Was there anyone else that saw anything strange around the time um, that Taylor went missing? Um, a man walking from the direction of the Atlantis Hotel, fully clothed um, in tennis shoes on the beach, approached her while she was sitting alone and said that he claimed to have been from Chicago and that he wanted to take a yoga class. So he followed her onto the property of the ashram. Um, she went her way and he went another way. And then, you know, she said that she hadn't seen him again. The manager of the ashram had said that the Monday before Taylor went missing, that there was a man with a walkie-talkie who was found on the platform where Taylor's tent was. Now, they said that when that man with the walkie-talkie saw an employee, he went in the other direction and walked off of the property. The disappearance of Taylor Casey was not a priority to the Bahamian police force, nor the Sivananda Ashram Yoga Retreat. Police waited five days to search for Taylor, which is well beyond the 48-hour critical period. The Sivananda Ashram Yoga Retreat did not inform participants of Taylor's disappearance. Critical time was lost in the delayed response to Taylor's disappearance. No one was looking for Taylor Casey. I'm not seeing anybody searching on the beach. Yeah, there is or nobody searching. No, I haven't seen anybody searching either. That's why I was surprised you didn't like say, I was thinking there'd be like flyers. Oh, well, you can go in there. Mind comes to a clarity of vision like a lake in which the bottom of the lake is effortlessly revealed rather than the lake being very turbulent. When the lake is turbulent, we get caught up in our own misconceptions. Taylor is just absolutely marvelous, loving, caring, kind, just care about people, stands for justice, stands for right, you know, just want people to be treated fairly. And Taylor is the pillar of our family. You know, they say I am, but I'm not. It's Taylor.